Hey, Gemini. Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be your December 2023 love reading. Okay, for the collective. This is going to be for Gemini and for those who have Gemini placements. So check your chart. Cross watchers, you're welcome here as always. Keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip the message messages as needed if necessary because energy is fluid. All right? But never force it. If it's for you, it will be fluid. Don't force the reading. I have to start saying that because sometimes people hit me up in the comments with like the weirdest things. This is like, this is not a personal reading. If you want a personal reading, you could click on the link in the description box below. This is not going to resonate with everyone. Okay? <clears throat> it's not going to resonate. Don't force it. All right? So before we start this reading, I mean, well, actually, while we start this reading, I'm going to pull some signifiers as to what this reading is going to set for the collective of Gemini. All right? Show me what Gemini needs to see. What does Gemini need to see? Okay. Wow. Show me the messages. This one to come out. Show me Gemini. All right. There's some challenges in this connection. But, and you and your person are on separation. All right? Because the overall energy is awaiting for this union. All right? I feel like I got, it's just so complicated and red and hard to say goodbye, all right? I feel like somebody is resisting the other person because they're stuck in a situationship. It's like they're waiting to be with, with someone. And I feel like you've been with this person intimately, but um, you're not in a committed relationship. In fact, this person may possibly be committed, committed to somebody else. The truth will set you free, ready to release this love block. Okay, we're going to find out why there's, the truth will set you free. Um, I feel like when it says ready to release this love block, I'm getting the energy that this person is not emotionally available to really be with you. I can't say emotionally, I would say physically more. And it's just like this, the block on this connection can be re released if something is revealed, okay? In other words, like I feel like spirit is saying, be honest about this. Perhaps your person needs to be honest to their partner and let them know that they're not happy in the connection that they're in. Okay, and then I have change is going to come think the impossible i mean i'm sorry think the impossible the unexpected okay so something's going to change but i feel like you and your person right now are not together and yearning to be together and I, i'm telling you for some of you i feel like this person that you're dealing with is already in a relationship and that's why and it's like you can't let this person go but you're trying to let this person go Let's find out what's going on here. <laughs> but the truth will set you free. Ready to release this love lock. Let's find out what this is about. All right. Let's put our cards here. And go into the tarot. Show me the messages, please. For Gemini. get with hard to say goodbye is that 
someone's, again, walking away from somebody else. They're trying to walk away from somebody else to come towards you. Oh, God, I just got that message. Oh, okay. This is crazy. Let's find out what's going on here. Show me the messages, please. Look at that. Taking action. Okay. I feel like your person is in a situation with someone. Okay, they're already in a commitment and it's hard to walk away from this. It's not as easy. Like when you're committed to somebody, you're emotionally tied to them. You have financial responsibilities amongst other things. Let's find out what's going on here. Yeah, with the, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, I feel like you're connecting with somebody that can't really commit to putting in the work and build with you. They're unavailable to do so with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And, you know, things are kind of out of control. With the Two of Pentacles reverse. And I also feel like this person has money problems keeping them in a situation that they are in now. And it's one of the reasons why they're not willing, they're not able to commit to you right now. But with the Eight of Wands, there's somebody who wants to take action. They want to let go of any regret. They want to seize the opportunity to be with you. They're not happy in their situation and they want to seize an opportunity. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's like this person is still currently in this cycle. They're still connecting with this person. They're still in this relationship. This is about external forces. Gemini, this is your energy. Something is, you know... There's a situation <laughs> interfering with your connection on the outside of it. And that's because this person is with someone else. Just as I picked up in the pre-shuffle. You could be connecting with the Capricorn. I'm also getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Wow. It's crazy when this comes together. Show me more for the situation, please. Show me more for the situation. Yeah, this person's married. Two of Cups. There's a marriage, just as I saw. You know what I feel like? <laughs> the truth will, will set you free, ready to release this love block. It's like there's something that you need to see about this situation. And... This person, I feel like, is like kind of stringing you along and then letting you think, you know, I love you and I want to be with you, but it's just, I have a lot going on. I, you know, I have my family. We have, a, you know, we have a lot invested in each other. I can't like, I can't leave my child or children. You know, they're saying all kind of things. And when it's hard to say goodbye, it's meaning it's hard for them to walk. You know, it's, it's a situation where... This person is basically telling you that it's hard to let you go, but they can't leave their family. Okay, and, and let's be clear. This person loves this person when they're with. I don't know what they're telling you, you know, but this person loves this person. I feel like this person is getting everything from them. There's love here. There's a solid commitment. Um, This person, the person's partner that they're with is completely oblivious to the fact that they're with you messing around with you but this person is only off able to offer you a little bit page of cups they can't offer you much they break from you they may give you a little gift or something or they send sweet messages when they can get away and do so but make no mistake this person loves the person that they're with yes there's two different relationships here here one is a sexual connection one is love Okay, you could be, this is your energy, Gemini. You could be connecting with another Gemini, okay? But then there's an Ace of Cups here. Show me why the Ace of Cups is here. This person has you feeling like stuck in a situation, thinking, you know, they're going to leave this person for you, the hangman. Someone who feels stuck and feel uncertain. I feel like that's you feeling this uncertainty about which direction to go into, waiting on this person. With the two of wands reversed, this person, 
it's like nothing's moving in your direction. This person is not willing to move on. They're indecisive. You know, they give this fear of change. Like, I feel like when you try to talk to this person about them moving on, I feel like they change the subject or they make up excuses. They stonewall you. It doesn't go your way. But with the Ace of Cups here, I also feel like this person has you thinking there's a lot of problems here, but this person might have recently even renewed their vows with their person or something romantic happened. Oh my goodness. I also feel like there's a possibility for some of you, this person's person is pregnant. They just found out that their person that they're with is pregnant. <laughs> wow. So this person has you thinking that, you know, you guys are going to be together. It's just not the right time. Show me more, please. Yeah, this person is not willing to leave this person. I got the justice here. A lot of you, a lot of, a lot of you, this person is definitely married to someone. Okay, I see a contract, a marriage contract. This person is, is in. Um, and with the with the four pentacles in this reading, it's about this these two. They're locked in. They're budgeting with each other. They're financially secure together. Together. So if this person leaves, they try, I think they make excuses about how it won't they it won't it's not the right decision financially. They'll get hurt financially, they'll lose everything that they have. If they walk away from this person that comes toward you, this person will take them to court for child support for some of you. Yeah, this person has told you that. Why is the Seven of Swords... Why is the Seven of Swords reversed here? Wow, okay. This person with the seven of swords reverse. This person might have like confessed something to their person or their person might have found something out after all with the seven of swords reverse. Okay, they might have confronted them about something that has to do with you. And that's another reason why they're trying to let you go and you're having a hard time releasing this person. With the four of wands here, this person is just like, they don't want to ruin their family. Four of wands. For some of you, this person might have even temporarily been separated from their family, you know, because of what you two had going on. And then they wanted to go back home. They came clean, they went back home. You know, they found out that there. So some of you, they found out that this person. This is a very direct message. If this is a feminine, because the cards are not gender based, but I do get the energy of somebody saying that they were pregnant, and then your person thinking, "Oh shit!" Like that changes everything. Like, not 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 for everybody. People will still cheat, and I feel like for some of you, this person already has a child or children with this person, but this person's pregnant again, and now like they're celebrating together. This person came back home. They had a reunion. With their fam with their family. They they decide to give it a shot. Show me this person's feelings for Gemini Gemini. Um there's a lot of fire energy here. You could be connecting with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, or somebody who has fire in their chart. Show me this person's feelings for Gemini. They know that you feel as if they take you for granted, okay? And they see you on your own, nine of pentacles, you're on your own, and that, you know, they've burdened you with everything that's going on in this, and just having you locked into this situation. They can feel that you're guarded with the seven of wands. You're a little resistant, you're a little guarded, you know, you're trying to protect yourself from them. 
they feel that. With the emperor, this person here is like, you know, this is someone who's stable otherwise in their relationship. This person definitely has like a child or children. And with this empress, again, it's confirming that this person, the, the person you're connecting with is, is, has a partner that's pregnant. Okay. This feels almost personal. You could be connected with an Aries or Libra. This is a divine partnership. Look at this. Look at this divine i got the emperor and the empress this person i don't care what they told you they're not leaving this person they're not choosing you over this person i know that this is going to be hard to hear but you came to this reading for, for for answers for clarity right why is this eight of wands here though Okay, this person is like, they're on their shit in their relationship. This Eight of Wands is here. Is someone taking action and communicating and just going for it? To, you know, holiday, vacations, whatever it is. Just focusing on this relationship. I got the Ace of Cups again. This person, I'm telling you, y'all, this person definitely has a, a partner that has a baby on the way. A wife, okay? A wife. I have to call it as I see it. Somebody's pregnant here. I, I got a lot of, you know, and this person is just like, they're all in with their person. This is my soulmate. I'm not messing it up for Gemini. I'm telling you. They 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 know that they burdened you with this. They know they've taken you for granted. They had you stuck and everything, but they want to release this. They do. They feel like they want to release this. <laughs> they want to release this burden. I got the 10 of wands in two different positions. They know they take you for granted. They know that they burden you. They've kept you stuck. And in an unavailable, wanting to be unavailable for anybody else, but they want to release that. At the very least, they want to release that. Like they want to release the burdens that they caused you. But this person's married, that's why. Hierophant. Okay? And for some of you, if this person is not married, this person then it's a long-term commitment with someone else and they have a family together. This is they feel like they're this is their divine partner. So they they were what they have for you was a physical thing and they had no intention on ever being with you okay and that's why i got the truth will set you free because if you see things for what they are then you can remove the love block you need to remove it so that you're able to you know be with someone else show me um gemini's feelings for this person what is gemini's feelings for this person uh, the sex is off the hook. That's one of the reasons why you have such a hard time leaving this person. I feel like this person has unprotected sex with you. <sighs> they just reckless. When they came to you, they were reckless. And they had, you, they had you twisted. And you're thinking, well, if this person didn't care about me, why they're not wearing a condom? You know, stuff like that is what I'm hearing. You feel like this was poor judgment. You're in your head, yes. You're not even communicating with this person at the moment, with the hermit here. Y'all are not communicating. Virgo energy. You're not communicating with this person. You're in your head. You're trying to figure out what to do. You know this is a poor decision. You know that this person is, you know, is not emotionally available to be with you. The full reverse. You could be connecting with an Aquarius. You feel like this was a poor decision to be with this person. You took a lot of big risks. You were being naive. You know this. And with the page of cuss reverse, someone here has some childhood issues. That could be you. You know, you. I feel like you didn't have stability in your upbringing. You might have moved around a lot as a child or, you know, single parent home or where you saw different men or different women coming in and out of, of your, your home with the person that was raising you or you moved or you were living with another relative or it's like because you have these you know these childhood traumas and some of you even got sexual abuse as a child my heart goes out to you but because of that you tend to end up in relationships that don't serve you any good and then someone t ends up taking advantage of you and this is what happened you settle for this person but with the seven with the six of swords it's time for you to to move forward to go towards your healing. 
and you know that even though you're sitting in this situation because your happiness is not tied to this person if you really want to be happy you need to move forward plus you know that this person is married and happy if you really think about it you don't believe everything that this person said this is someone that left you behind they're trying to leave you behind with the with the five of pentacles reverse you need to you know to recover from being left behind by this person focus on your spiritual awareness push through your adversities put through push through your challenges heal from this show me more for gemini feelings yeah your, your expectations in regards to this person is unrealistic the sun reverse for some of you you had an abortion or a miscarriage could have been a stillbirth from this person or this person forced you to have an abortion you thought you was going to have a, a baby with this person and they're like spirit is saying that you know and, it, and it's very painful that you that you didn't you know this pregnancy was not able to be viable um but you know it's unrealistic for you to think that that's what this person wanted and that your happiness was with the, in this situation so it had to happen i'm sorry for any loss of a child in any circumstances but did you really want to be in a situation like this with this person some of you are are angry because this person this, this you know this person's um partner is having a baby and you're like and you're, you're angry with this person because they made you abort yours or you miscarried because of the stress of this connection. Could be a Leo. But spirit is like, it was unrealistic expectation that you had, thinking that this person was going to come to you and be with you because you were pregnant and choose you over this person. Show me the challenges. Show me the challenges when it comes to this connection. Your challenges is thinking that you and this person could come together and be happy. Three of Pentacles. Like to think that. It's like this person is with Three of Swords, cause you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. You're lonely, you're depressed. You're sad, you're confused. This person just breaks you. So it's like the challenge is for you to see that that there's no love available to you here. You're the one that's hurting. This person is in a, in a, in a relationship. Your challenge is to see that they're dedicated and committed to someone else. And that's why the Three of Pentacles is there. And, and this is only going to be a painful situation for you if you continue to stay in it. With the star, there's a need for you to heal and focus on manifesting better for yourself. Healing is the overall energy because, well, actually, no, it's not the overall energy. It's the, the overall energy of the reading is waiting for this union. You're waiting for this person. You're waiting for this person to be with you when you should be focusing on releasing them and healing and manifesting better for yourself. So show me advice. Show me advice for Gemini, please. A lot of times when I ask the cards for advice now, I notice they show me the person's feelings before they show me the advice. They show me the situation again. Um, Ace of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you gave this person money, and you, I mean a lot. Like you were like giving this person money. This person um, manipulated you into you giving them money. This is someone with Ace of Swords reverse. That's their intentions were never you know really clear with you and in, in alignment with what you wanted because they're already with someone, as you know. This person barely communicated with you, but you were giving them your money. You were you were giving them things at your own expense, and it caused some money problems for you, giving them money. This person is very impetuous, very insensitive. Page of Wands reverse. This person definitely like breadcrumbed you, but you gave them more than they gave you financially. There's somebody with the with the King of Cups. That's giving you advice and gave you advice about this situation, Gemini. This is someone who's a good friend, very emotionally mature, stable. Take heed to their advice. 
this is this is not gender based so this can very well be a woman it could be a family member a friend or co-worker it's going to be different for all of you because this is a collective but whoever you've been speaking to some of you this is a therapist this person is giving you good advice why are you ignoring their advice when it comes to this connection show me advice please show me advice for gemini oh my gosh this is sad this also this hard to say goodbye could be you your energy saying it's hard for you to leave this person okay and you can't really explain it because this person hasn't given you much that's why i'm getting it's just so complicated this person is not going to leave their person i feel like they told you that just keep you stuck you over gay to this person let me tell you something happened here with the tower and I feel like the way that this ended, it was very shocking to you when this person, um, again, with those of you who, who this person is pregnant, it was com he was completely blindsided by this news. How you found out, some of you found out on social media. You were looking at this person's page, looking at, you know, dipping and dabbing onto their partner's page, and that's how you found out. And it was devastating. And I get that, you know, it was just shocking. It was super shocking the way that you found out that this person was pregnant. Because here you have this person that you're sleeping with telling you other things and having you thinking they're going to leave this person for you when in reality they wasn't. All right? And you're thinking about how you overgave to this person. So the advice that I have for you, because this is someone with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, okay? This is someone who abandoned a connection. Like this person made you, made you feel out, left in the cold. They did. Shockingly, quickly, out of nowhere. They made you feel that way and... They, you just feel like left behind by this person. They, they left you in the cold. So the advice that I have for you is to walk away, to leave this person, to pull back all your emotions, okay, from this person. You have to move on from this because this person left you behind. There was They were never emotionally available to you, Gemini. And I, again, I know this is hard to hear with the... With the um, Six of Cups reverse. You need to let go of this and focus on your future. But right now, the reason why you're struggling with that is the strength reverse. Leo energy. You're just, there's a low self-esteem issue here. You don't feel like you're enough and you're vulnerable. That's another reason why don't communicate with this person. Avoid communication with this person. If they try to reach out to you again. You know, with the eight of uh, swords here, it's like you feel like you're stuck in a situation, but you're not. Look at those ropes. They're very loose. You you have the ability to get yourself out of this. This is mental entrapment. This is the energy of you feeling victimized. Like, why did this happen to me? But you made some poor choices here. You have to own up to that. And, you know, you feel silenced. For some of you, this person blocked you. <laughs> this person actually blocked some of you. Wow. So with the devil reverse, Capricorn energy, you need to get let go of this toxic relationship. Release yourself from the toxicity. Just let yourself go. The truth will set you free. Okay. Change is going to come. Think the impossible, think the impossible, the unexpected. This was what happened. This person got pregnant. All right. And here you are thinking that things... We're going to get better for y'all. But this person ended up pregnant. And this person that you're with was never, never going to leave that person for you. You could be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces as well. They were never going to leave this person for you. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. You have to focus on your healing and manifesting better for yourself. I feel like this change is going to come. Is, is about you seeing things for what they are and releasing this block that you have. Because there's no love here. So there's a need to let this go. You're waiting on somebody that's not available to you. Show me the messages, please, for Gemini. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's why I asked you earlier, Gemini, why are you settling for this situation? Why are you settling for this person? Again, there's some unresolved childhood trauma. Um, that's why I also feel some of you are in therapy. 
and you should listen to your therapist's advice because it's helping you. I mean, it can help you, I should say. It can help you, but it's not going to help you if you're not listening. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah. So this person that you're supposed to be with, that you will be with, is going to be different from this person. Do you really want someone like this anyway? Someone who who says they're committed to someone else? Um, Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah. I said this. I said there's a trauma here that I feel that you are suffering from because of your up the instability in your upbringing. But you need to face those traumas. You t you need to make peace with them. You need to to heal from it. Because if you don't, you're going to carry that into a, a new connection. Okay? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like you may be drinking a lot. Perhaps smoking a lot. I mean, I'm also seeing somebody smoking like a lot of weed, smoking a lot of cigarettes, just drinking excessively, and also just codependencies when you overgive at the expense of your own emotional well being. And I feel like you overgave to this person. Like I said, you even gave them money, gave them everything that they wanted. Unrequited love just shot out the deck. There's not enough chem there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, wedding, the situation involves marriage. Did I not say that in the very freaking beginning of the reading? This situation involves marriage. So in order for this reading to resonate, I'm telling you, I felt strongly from the beginning that there's a marriage here. This person is not available to be with you. And someone ended up pregnant. Their partner ended up pregnant. And they were like, they couldn't continue with you because they saw just how much you were falling for them and they couldn't keep up the lies and they had to let it go now it's time for you to let it go okay so those are the messages that i have for you for this reading gemini if it resonated be sure to tap that like button if you're interested in a personal reading click on the link in the description box below i do wish you healing i wish you love i wish you self-love i wish you light and i'll see you again on the next one bye